So are you going to play? Uh, are you going to play another uh, track? Or well, I will play another track, but I'd, I'd just like to explain a little bit, John, about drama. Okay. What, what I what I think of as drama. Okay. Because I am doing the drama hour, okay. well, or the drama show. It's now two. Well, it, it, it's two hours if I if I can get it together to record two hours. But it's um it's pre-recorded, so it's a mixture of things, and I think it'll go on being more of more of um bits and pieces with some links and the audience will just have to accept that it's not necessarily well explained what's going on and it's taken over from where the storyteller was so t today you you heard um a, a, a bit i found on youtube that he he you, you, you were here in time to hear that mm. so my 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 idea of my own contribution is to is is not exactly to write drama not exactly to write a play but to create a situation in which the storyteller might do a performance of some kind because he always does the the stories more or less not exactly made up on the on the day but they they follow a pattern of information he already has and what what I'm looking at is what's happening with uh, the campus with universities because I I do think the way things are moving online all of that campus and um, student accommodation and everything is going to be very different there's going to be a lot more blended situations happening and so I'm just trying to imagine a variation on what Exeter would be so I'm, I'm starting with HMV for example, I do go there and look at it but I, I've, I've concluded that really the upstairs the bit where the, where the CDs are that might not continue. So I'm imagining a situation where merchandise is most of what's happening. And um, there are just devices upstairs, digital devices for short runs of things. Um, mugs, duvet covers, all sorts of things which have got all the graphics on. Mm. Um, but there's not so much space for actual CDs and stuff. Okay. Um, well, CDs are phasing out. Well, they are phasing out. But, but what do you think is happening with ed education, John? I mean, because it seems to me we we can sort of take a look at what's happening with music, and then see I think education. Sort of I think education at this particular time is very difficult. Very difficult indeed. With this, with the uh, currently with things currently the way they are it's actually quite difficult to study in a fashionable way you know in, in, in a normal way and communicate with people I think I think uh, many people many of the students have been disappointed with their exam results this year and I think I think it's only uh, going to get tougher. I don't think. I don't think it's um, going to get easier at this stage. I think. I think that uh, people people have a lot to learn. I think public have a lot to learn. I think that uh, this uh, um, people have to learn to live with COVID nineteen because it's not going anywhere. So uh, the quicker we all learn to live with it, the better. But do do you think there's a longer term thing about online? If, I think if, if, I think if, if I get think used to certainly it. the more the the, the 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 I think certainly that things are going to that things are, you know things are already really exploding online 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 activity on the stuff we do online is getting more and more every day I think it's only going to get more and you know, yes, I do think it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, uh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt at all. So I'm, I'm just sort of, in terms of drama, really, what I'm doing is putting that, that potential situation to well, the storyteller. Yeah, that's and and then he will turn that into a a, a stand up philosophy yeah, performance. Also, you at know, some that's point. that's that's fine as well, because I because I would just like to say to people that. You know, I know it's not. I know it's not the same um, in a lot of ways. But there are, there is the advantage. There, there is the um, 
the the uh, the ability to be able to live stream performances from arenas and uh, then fit in theory with with a with technical with obviously some technical setup you you would be able to stream your performance to an audience yeah. online so that, that there is there are ways to do that so um you know that's you know the, i think the stuff we do online is getting more and more every day especially with online retailers and hmv is one of them but my colleague really really likes to go into hmv in person which i don't blame him but i just feel that the high street is getting is getting more and more full of cafes and places to eat and uh, and more, um less and less full of uh Restable, restable shops that you can go and get. I don't know some DVDs or some films that you want to watch. Uh, most people are doing their shopping on on places like Amazon and eBay, and um, most of m most of society these days are, are doing are doing this. Uh, but of course, th there are there are other companies available. Um, yeah, no, well, there's Rooster Records on Fourth Street. They also have vinyl. Well, yes, yes. Um, um, and, but what, 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 what I'm getting at, John, is that, is that um, there's, a, there's a conference next week, uh, Tech Exeter and Digital Exeter, which is completely online this year. Exactly. Um, pre previously, it has been at the, at the business school yes, on, on we, campus. I'm sure the listeners would actually know that. Well, and, they don't all know that. And, uh, and um, yes, like I just spent the last five minutes saying the things that we do online is getting more and more and like we're able we're able to um to 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 you know they're able to have these virtual conferences now which is a great thing and i would also like to say that the like minds conference is being uh, streamed um you can join the conference online this year can't you yeah, for uh, early October that is yeah and that was that was in extra last, last but year. we're not we're not having one in person no uh this year you know um but i have been to every single one or most of them over the last couple of years um to uh, the ones that we've had in person but they're not doing that this year and i would actually be very interested uh to see which way to see what bet we'll do in january so should we should yes we should talk about that in the coming months yeah I think. well i think i think we will I think Chris, I think Chris will talk about that as well here on the on a wild show. And certainly on we not know yeah, we not know we'll we'll, 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 we'll talk, about it. talk about it. Or I think I think we can just imagine it happening now. Because if yeah, it, if, well, it, if it if it's it, online, it it might as well be starting now in a in some sort of way. Yeah, well, I would just be very interested to see if they do have it in person or online. And my betting is that it will be online because the XO Arena, for those of you who don't know, has turned into a COVID hospital. Yeah, they may not. They may think they don't need that, but whether that means they've, I can't see no, how something like Bet would be socially distanced. No, I, I no, it, neither, it's neither just, can I. And plus, they've turned the XO Arena into a COVID hospital, and whether they're going to get it in whether they would actually physically be able to get it ready in time for that we don't know so keep your ears open probably more on that to come soon yeah and i think i think also exactly what's happening with universities will become clear as well yeah it's not clear what's happening with universities it's not really clear what's happening with education in general to be honest i mean uh, it's it, it i think it will become more clear as time goes on y I mean, yeah. most people are in the unknown with this uh, uh, virus, and uh, I think more, more, more so the government is is um, in the unknown quite a lot of the time, and it's just you know I think communities and people we, we've got to come together with other people and uh, try and support other people in the best way we can in this crisis. Yeah, well, that is that is right. But just just going back to explaining the the drama the drama show. Yeah. Um, I, I I do hope the the stand up philosopher will do a stand up philosophy performance in real space somewhere in Exeter. It may it may not be till next summer. I think it's going to be back in Exeter in December, but we'll see. 
Um, he can speculate. I mean, I've asked him to speculate about the distant future when um, the Fortress University is in ruins and a blended learning approach is happening in cafes. Some of them on campus, some of them not, but the campus is very different to, to what it is now. Um, so that's one possibility, but we, we, don't, we ju just don't know where it's going to go. Um, he may do some comments online, if you can find him on Facebook, um, different ways, or through tweets, whatever. But that's 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 really what the uh, what the drama show is is about, as far as I'm concerned, is speculating around when some of that might happen. Uh, 